I just built the most epic house ever. I'm so proud. Oh, well, I've just built this house. It's got, like, love hearts and bees. So, yeah. Right, okay. Let's build this awesome, amazing, cool house. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to build a house in Minecraft. And it's not your average, ordinary house. It's kind of like a waterfall house. It's got swimming pools and everything you need. And it's even got bees and hearts and flowers and everything. So, yeah, it will fit in a 35 uh, by 35 area in this box, whatever you want to call it. And um, we're going to start off by using some of the white concrete. So grab yourself a fair couple of stacks. And we're going to be using like red colors, purple colors. So you can use wool, concrete, whatever you like, water. We're going to have a little bit of green going around, a little bit of green. And uh, this bit here, obviously you don't have to use this if you can't get to the end stone brick yet. So you could use a different block there. Maybe you could use an oak instead or something like that. And um, we've got the white wool on top of there. So I'd say a good two stacks of that. And then we've got the yellow for the bumblebees and the black. So hopefully you can make um, a guess, sort of guesstimation. I know it's not a real word, but yeah, you know. Okay, so we're going to go in from the corner. These are placement blocks. I'm just placing them down so we know where we are. So don't place these. But yeah, if you've got the box ready yeah, and you're working within a plot. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remove all these. So that's the seventh block diagonal. And then we're going to grab two stone slabs diagonal of it. And then we can start our outer circle so we'll go to the left hand side first so we're going to go diagonal one and then diagonal one two and then diagonal again one two three diagonal one two three four five six seven and then going in this time one two three in two and then diagonal one two three four and then we turn around again so towards us this time one two one two three and then towards us one two three four five six seven i'll go up in the air so you can kind of see it one two three one two one two three four of the diagonal one two one two three and you can always put it in slow motion pause the video just in case you get stuck one two three four five six seven and then we're going in one two three one two diagonal one two three four one two one two three one two three four five six seven one two three one two and complete the circle so up in there we should have that outer circle now for the inner circle now um, basically we're going to have a one gap here and then we can start here by count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should have those gaps in between there. Those gaps are going to have some flowers in. Um, so I chose the Penenes, whatever they're called. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And we can start on here. It's just basically following the inner circle. So one, two, three, one, two, two diagonal this time. So one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, one, 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 two. And then one, two, three. And we should have our other circle. So it's just basically a little smaller circle on the inside. And then on the outside here, as you can see, We've got these gaps in between our slab that we've placed. I've just decided to put flowers there. Now, you don't have to put flowers. You can change the flowers. They don't have to be the same. You could even place a block in there, maybe some stairs or something like that. Or, uh, yeah, it's just entirely up to you. But I'm going to try and do this block for block. I'm not going to try and skip too much of it. It is um, quite a cool house. Hopefully, you enjoy it enough to slap a like on the video. Um, yeah, so... In here, uh, we're best starting against it. So against here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one to the side. Same here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one to the side, and we should have a shape like that. And we're gonna do that on each of the four corners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, one to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, one to the side. And then we've got our other one complete. Same with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring it all the way back, just the same. All the way back there. And then we do it for this last one here. Like that. Bring that across. Boom. Um, on the outside here, we'll do all these out 
in a circle. So we're going to go count one, two, three, one, two, one. One, two, three, one, two, and it joins it up. Uh, exactly the same here. So one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. Um, so we've got that outer circle and then what you can do here is grab our green wool we're going to go two to complete the diagonal one two one two one two and then we're going to uh, just make a little square like that so you can start on any side you can go to that side or you can go to that side basically one two one two and it looks like kind of like a little fish yeah <laughs> I don't know one two one two and then yeah we've got it complete so uh, for this bit now we're gonna count one two three with the polished and site just to close these gaps here so one two three one two three one two three going all the way around and then what we're gonna do is count another one two three back hello mr. cow Um, could you go over there one two three and then one either side of the polished and site so one two three facing in one either side one two three one either side and one two three one either side like that and then we're going to go diagonal one two diagonal one two diagonal one two diagonal one two and then we should have these little gaps that we fill in with the stone so one two three there should be one two three like that now uh, the next step is going to be raising these up at the front so the one two three one two three one two three going all the way around and then we are going to raise the ones behind so the five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then this bit we're gonna kind of have a doorway here so what we can do on the inside facing on the inside we go two diagonal and face them up so two diagonal of that pull them up two other diagonal pull them up like that two diagonal going up and you should have that shape on the inside and this is obviously so we can have like a little doorway into the place you know the score and um, so now we're going to grab our white concrete so everything is going to go up six apart from these ones here so we're going to go one two three four five um one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five and then bring these up six all together so that's going to be one two three four five six in fact we'll do it from the ground so it'd be that'd be one two three four five six so with the white it would be one two three four five so we're going to bring those up before we do the side bits just makes it a little bit easier so one two three four five six bring that across bring that up like that and we're gonna have a, another little bit here where we're gonna have the waterfall dripping into it and stuff so bring these all up to the same height and then we can work on the other area after that so imagine we have got blocks here so you can put the two that you're gonna remove anyway and then put two blocks on remove the two underneath or if you would like you don't want to place any just go like that diagonal like that remove them so basically that's going to be our doorway and then these two here we're going to place two blocks on like that so two blocks like that on the inside you can actually bring them up as well make things a little bit easier just go one two one two one two one two and then on the outside you can just go like that just makes it a little bit easier so we've got those on the outside those on the outside and we've got one more left like that joining it together and we're going to use some magenta concrete or purple block of your choice we're going to go three up in each corner like this to bring them up bring a little bit of color into the build and it just makes it look a little bit better and we've got these bits here we could probably put some chests up on these bits as well and um, so yeah that is our first bit complete okay the next bit we're going to count one two three bushes on top of each one of these just so we know, we know where we're going to bring out the white here so we're going to put the white across the top and we're going to go and fill all that in like that so it should be out a little bit so the same here going across here so it should be five by one two three four 
fill that in and we're going to do that going all the way around and then we've got another um, thing to come out from here and then we can put the little waterfall coming out so it just gives it enough stretch for that waterfall to go over the bush and yeah it doesn't make a mess of your new awesome house I don't know whether to call this a survival house because I don't think it is um, anyway now the next step is one two three a three by three little square like that and we're gonna put a water source in there so three and as you can see it's just above the plant pots there one two three here and one two three and yeah you can get your water source in ready now if you would like so we can grab our bucket of water get your four buckets of water and as many buckets of water as you need to fill up in this area so one there coming out there one coming out there one coming out there and one coming out from there and then what you can do is fill this in just get it all filled in part of our water fountain area now if you would like you can fill this in with the block if you don't want it in with water you could make it as deep as you like what you could do here's a little idea and um, you could dig this going down like this and you can make it so it's an underground base and it kind of goes into the base from this area here so you can make a doorway and it kind of like go into here so you'd have to make the water go down a little bit further so it doesn't drain into the area but you have now got a little bit of inspiration to expand this build maybe and make it your own and uh, yeah you can always expand from there and uh, be cool to see what you come up with make sure you get me on Twitter and uh, yeah show me what you've done maybe you've done an underground base and also we can fill in these little areas here as well um, but what I'm going to do we kind of need a walkway into the area so that's going to be in so if you don't mind going around here and going in that way what you can do as well as making a little doorway is just having a little patch that you go through and walk over from there what I would do is do it from there it probably looks a little bit better like that so just add in the extra little bit of green wool or you could even just get some lily pads and have it as um kind of a different entrance but i kind of like the green wool so i'm going to stick with the green wool but it's entirely up to you it won't really um change the build too much so you can change this build about and do your own thing with it and um yeah make it your own make it your own home so when someone comes across it they'll be like oh you got it from the tutorial it looks different oh it's awesome so you can always change different colored blocks and um, yeah if I remove blocks and stuff like that which I'm gonna try not to in this uh, video because I know I get shouted out a little bit because um, I like to uh, get them all done but luckily I have made it before so hopefully this is another house I'll just show you I know it's mid tutorial and everything but um, I might work on this one but it took absolutely ages to design so uh, if anybody wants a tutorial on that suburban house I will do it um, obviously you can change the colors it doesn't have to be pink um, I did this for a youtuber called Shubble she wanted me to design some things so uh, yeah I'm showing you guys how to build one of the houses um, that might be on her avenue so yeah what we are going to do is grab some slab enough of the talking one two three four five and then one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five like that so you should have that so far coming along good then from there we're going to go diagonal three so one two diagonal three like that one two three same here one two three and then finally one two and three like that so you should have that shape I'm trying to build it up for survival people and um, trying to build it up in stages and um, so our next stage would be I'm wanting the bees to be coming out of here so we're gonna grab our black wool and our little buttons for our bees you can use whatever eyes you'd like I think I've got the wooden buttons but you can choose whatever buttons you like and um, so yellow wool black wool whatever you choose and um, so we're gonna have a black wool there and then a yellow and then of course for the wings I'm gonna use some trapdoors so the trapdoors are like that so it's like coming out of the beehive so basically you are living in a beehive how cool is that and um, so we're just gonna do it popping out on top of this bit so we're just gonna do it all the way around and um, so you can do one bit at a time but I'm just gonna do it like this 
So like this, put our eyes on and finally got this one and then put the wings on. So just aim at the top with the trapdoor and it looks like the little bees are trying to flap out of the house, which looks pretty awesome and cool. So we've got some bees there and then we're on to the next stage. We've got the love heart. So yeah. Okay, so we're on to the love heart. Also, we're going to just quickly do this in the corner. One, two, one, two, on top of each one of these purple blocks like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If you can't get iron trap doors, don't bother. Um, I'm just putting some iron trap doors just for the sake of putting them on. But if it's too much resources for you, don't bother using them. We're going to place one red block in the center here. And then we can start doing the hearts. Um, so we've got our first one. And then I think the next one is like this. So I'm going to just go all the way around like this. But you can obviously, um, it will give you time to just do one. And then you can just pause the video and do one. So that's the first level. And then next level, we're going to go one, two, three, and one either side of it. One, two, three, one either side. One, two, three, one either side of it. Like this. One, two, three, either side of it. And then our next level would be... Oh, what is the next level? I don't know. Um, we'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two of the same, like that. And then we're going to count one, two. One, two. We have got a love heart. But, um, let me see. Is that exact? I'm going to have a look over here, just to make sure. So that's one, two, three, four. And that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, I've done it like that. So yeah, there you go. So you have now got your love heart. Um, so you can do it for each one. So either side like that. Go on top and then miss one, one, two, miss one, one, two. But you can obviously do a different heart if you want. Um, but this is the heart I'm going for. Um, so if you don't like it, change the heart change the heart then change the heart and then we'll do our final one like this so all these hearts are the same one two one two so you should have something that looks like that which looks pretty awesome if I do say so myself okay the next stage we're going to work on the beehive so we're gonna put this going across like this um, so it's just on the underneath bit here, so you should it should be on the lower part of this block So we grab our slab and Place five blocks on each one and then we're gonna grab our end stone So you can always use a bit of oak instead if you can't get any end stone or you want to find a use for your end stone There you go. You've got one now So we're gonna count one two three four five and we're gonna bring them up to the same level as the heart and then we're going to have one in the corner like this. Going to go up from there. And then across here. Across here. Just exactly the same. So bring them up five. So five. Bring it up to the same level as the heart. Same for this one. Like that. Same for this one. And then obviously bring these up like this. And then what you can do, now you don't have to do this, um, is just put another little bee's head, perhaps, in one here. Just place a block there. So if you don't want to take one out, you want to put the bee's head there instead. You can put one there. Um, so yeah, you don't have to remove a block. It's fine. It's, it's cool. Um, so now we're going to grab our little buttons to obviously complete it. So we've got bees coming out from the diagonal part of the beehive. And we've got other bees. Now, if you want him to be exact, um, what you can do is on the inside here, you could then go diagonal and bring the bees out. Um, so it looks like the bees are inside the house. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. It's just a little option for you. Um, so, yeah, you should have that stage. Now, we've got bees coming out from here. So now we're going to have our black body. We find the center. So it's just one off there. So one, place one there. One gap, place one there. One gap, place one there. All symmetrical, so it just makes the build look a little bit better, I feel. So we're going to have our bee heads going around. So you can just work on one bee before you start moving on to the next areas. 
and then we have got the wings you can put the eyes on or whatever so get the little wings poking out pretty awesome so far and then we have got the eyes to complete the look of the bumblebee if you've got any more ideas for bumblebee designs or stuff like that make sure you comment down below maybe even send me a little video over and um, yeah so you should have that bit done so far so we're on to the next stage now okay the next stage is 311 so we're gonna go three on top of these just on top of the hearts making sure you're a center and then we're gonna go diagonal one diagonal one so it's like it's going in this time like this and uh, yeah if you want to go further down right just get these all completed on the other side now if you want to make it so it goes inwards like this you go like this as it's slowly going in so it's kind of like it's a beehive and then here as well what I would do is get some black blocks and just cover that area up so it looks a lot more darker from the outside and uh, yeah adds a little bit of color on the inside as well now you can get some slabs running along this area here like this so we've got nice colorful on the inside of the house also and um, so obviously you could put a floor panel down in here so if you want to put your floor in it with an oak you want a different color it's entirely your choice and um, what you decide to do and um, but yeah so uh I'd like to see what you guys come up with on the, on the inside, but I will do um, some interior so you you know what you're working with at least. And then I put off another floor level here. So say that you've got a floor level here, and um, what we're going to need to do is have something, maybe a wooden post, or you could even have just stick with this white stuff going through the middle, going up to the top, and then sprouts out about here obviously get a ladder going through there and you can have it exit off like that and then obviously you just have leave one gap open where you can actually get up so leave a gap there and then you can obviously fill in your ladder and that's how you get up into the next level and um, so yeah let's bring it down here like this pretty cool interior as well and um, obviously you can do this with the stairs obviously I would light it up a little bit as well so you can put your your chest going up here and I think you can actually take out of the walls if um, in some places hopefully so like you could see I'm gonna use a sea lantern but you don't have to use a sea lantern obviously they're quite tricky to get so just use glowstone use a torch even you could just put a torch there and then put a trapdoor over it like that and um, but it just lets a little light into our house gonna put our trap door on looks awesome and then at the top what you can do is you can get your furnaces in and stuff like that if you wanting to make it survival friendly you could even build it round like that so you've got some kind of funky obviously you don't need this many furnaces some people might though so you never know and um, you might need a lot of smelting power and um, so you've got like some doing the coal some doing the iron and then at the bottom here you could actually fill that up and maybe put some brewing stands there you could put a crafting table in the middle or something like that you could even have one side going up and having where a portal is or something like that have a bedroom in the top but i think we should work on the top now so our next level we're going to go like this what we're going to do is place one two three we're going to go three one three one and it should work its way round the inside so using whatever block you were using it could be oak or whatever it's just kind of i just think this looks more like a beehive so it's like a beehive in the middle and then what we're going to do then is fill this in if you would like you could leave it open though so it's up to you because it's all going to be filled in anyway and we're going to get the green follow it round. so if you leave more space i guess not filling that in you could fill the whole ceiling in with kind of like glowstone sea lanterns it just lights it up from the inside as well you obviously don't have to put this many you know what i mean one two three and then we just fill this in this is just going to be all filled in whole because this is where the flower is going to go we're going to place a block there block in the middle of each one like that and then we're gonna have our stock which is one in the middle and one either side of it 
going up so that's our stock going out and then time to do the flower it's a bit more tricky the flower so yeah let's go on to that in fact we could put some doors down there but i'll work on it later and um, because obviously there'll be people in survival that'll be up here so we're gonna try and stick to it okay okay so we grab our white wool we're gonna do a cross here like this on top of it and count one two one two one two one two and then one on each of the corners so that's our first layer now on to the second layer okay the second layer we're gonna cover this what we've done so a double level of everything we've done like this get that all filled in and we're gonna count one two three one either side 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 just like that now underneath here we're gonna count one two three four one two three four one in the middle do the same here one two three four of the both diagonals one in the middle one two three four one two three four one in the middle it's getting dark now <laughs> one two three four one two three four one in the middle and underneath as you can see it should look like that now on these ends we're going to place an extra one just on the ends of these like this just on the end like that and we should have something that looks like that right so i've had to pre-do one ready so i know what i'm doing so what we're going to do now on each one of these petals going all the way around we're going to count one two three one out one on top and then underneath here we're going to extend an extra one one either side of it and then three across one down and then on the inside here we're going to count one two three so that is our first one so we're going to do it for each one going all the way around so one two three one one out we're going to do the six here and then one down and then three at the back so you can just pause it and rewind it the slow bit so one two three one the top one down turn this into the sixth one like that and then put these behind it so you should have those so far those are the petals draping down now time to work on the rest okay the next level is behind here we're going to count one two three behind each one one two three one two three like that and then we're going to count diagonal one two diagonal one two and then diagonal one so diagonal one two diagonal one two and connect it together with the one same here out one two diagonal one one two and it should connect like that one two one two diagonal and we should have something like that now for our corner pieces we're going to have something a little like this so we're going to go into this corner and that's our middle block there as you can see and what we're going to do is we're going to place a placement block and put one down place a placement block at the other side place uh, and then remove it place two and then one block and one block down so I'll repeat it again so one block either side of it bring them down and remove the two blocks place a block one on there and one down so that's like the diagonal it's quite tricky to try and figure out and um, what I was going to do for this one but this seems to work fairly good and um, so yeah I'm going to do that so once we've done that we've got our diagonal parts and then we can start to work on this bit now right so our next level is coming in like this and counting three so we're moving inwards this time like this moving inwards for this one three and then this one inwards three and then we're going to go diagonal one diagonal two diagonal three same here one two Three. same for this one one two three and one two three now this is entirely up to you from the inside here I'm wanting to fill that level so the level underneath here you could just go just to save blocks one two three four five six seven one two one two three one two one two one two three one two one two one two three one two and then you can leave it hollow you don't have to fill it all in then uh, it just looks a little bit better and um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to find the center we're going to count one two and then on the third one we're going to grab our yellow wool like this 
and then we're going to go out one two three one two three one two three one two three and then let me see let's see if this is working so we've got that so that's three there three there right so now either side we're going to place a block like this and then we can just fill this in one two one 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 two one one or you could just go diagonal and then fill the rest in whichever works for you best so like that so you should have a circle that's three by one three by one three by one and that's for like our top flower now the rest of it you can fill this bit on the inside just fill it all in so it's just all kind of filled in like this and you don't see all those gaps and uh, hopefully you've got a good flower out of it so there you go you got a nice flower now what I decided to do is get some buttons as you can see over here if I can zoom in I've got those buttons going all the way across and around it so you can decide what buttons you can have a stone button you can have a normal button I'm just gonna go with a normal one for this one I think I put stone on the other one uh, but yeah just put, place buttons all the way across it just gives it that sort of um, sunflower kind of look I guess and um, now it's time to work on the bigger bee but obviously on the inside this is what it looks like um, but you can obviously make it a lot higher and you can dig through there so it goes even further if you want to actually go through it and get into that flower the other way but yeah so you've got a bit of room to work with just so you know you know you don't know now you know um, now for this bit here you can use whatever door you choose um, you can have a spruce door oak door but you just place a door there I'd probably do it from the inside actually works a little bit better door there and a door there and they just open up like that and what you can do is put a pressure plate there and um, it opens up for you but mobs can open it as well that way so uh, yeah but it's it I'm not sure if mobs would walk across there. I'm sure if you put like a defensive gate going all the way around it and made it mob proof, it wouldn't matter so much. So yeah, the door on each one of these and then you can put your pressure plates on so you don't have to open the door. You just walk towards it and it opens for you. How lazy is that? One at the front there, one there, one at the front. Boom. And there we go. And it closes for you and everything. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah time for the mama bee the mama bee and some baby um, bees around it so I'm gonna go over here for this so we're gonna count one you can find the center one two three and that's where we start with the black and um, so I'm gonna build it over here because um, yeah just build it above the flower so imagine you're above the flower so we're gonna have a little square here so I'll build it about here it makes it a little bit easier and I can copy off this one and um, so we're gonna have a square that's three by three so making sure the center block is in center with your flower and um, so you should be looking down and you'll see your flower so we're gonna do a three by three square like that let's change the time and then our front one or back one one behind it even we're gonna do another three by three and then another black one behind it three by three like that and then at the back here as you can see I'll count one two three one two three and then one like that and then behind it we're gonna count one two one one get a yellow block and place it behind like that and then we can place another yellow one up like that it's just to kind of curl it off and then what I did is um, put a slab of the what you called oak under there and under there and for its sting I used a lever at the back so place a lever down like that and then at the front here so we've already done this one so we're gonna have one block there place a black block there and then we're going to grab our yellow so we're going to have two so two at the side there two at the side there I'm going to put one underneath like that as well 
and then we have got our stairs here so we're gonna have a stair facing like that and then a stair facing like that so you should have that shape and then underneath I got this which was the slab so we'll grab a slab like that and what you can do is put a black block underneath here as well so if you don't mind it looking like that underneath and um, it just gives it its um, mouth so as you can see there you can see through the mouth it looks black now we're gonna grab two white blocks for its eyes and then one yellow block there and then we are going to grab our buttons grab our buttons place one one for each one of the buttons and then for this one here on top of there I just grabbed two of these two oak slab at the side and one on top like that and then we have got the wings so for the wings here as you can see I've got one at the top and one at the bottom so one two three and one two three so one at the the bottom of the block and one at the top of the block and it'll look like that so this is at the bottom one two three and then underneath one two three and then the next layer is another one two three so what you're gonna have to do if you're in survival or in normal blocks it just go like this it just um, expand these a little bit just so you can stand on it while you're making the wings and then we're going to crouch down count one two three one two three so you're placing it onto the blocks that we've already placed. So you can work on one wing first if you're in survival and then do the next one. So one, two, three like that. And then the next one is one, two, three on the lower. One, two, three, and then one on the higher. And then just a normal one, two, three, and then just expand by one. So that is your wings. So that's one wing done. And then the next wing, exactly the same. So one two three on the lower one on the top and then one two three and then one and you have got your B and um, then so yeah that B will be on top of there and then as you can see I've got these little bees flying out so all that's different from the other bees that is just placing that on and putting a little stinger on so you can have those flying around the little area and it will look like that so you've got now a nice beautiful water feature house and that is it that is pretty much it i'm just gonna um get rid of this now um back in a second okay so as you can see we've got the bumblebee we've got those bumblebees flying out and uh, i haven't done it on this one but i'll show you what else we can do to, just to make it look a little bit better two cobblestone and then we can maybe put one like that get some three bushes going up like that and it just makes a little bit of a grand entrance so one there one there and we can still obviously get through and uh, get into the house get three high like that and um, but this is pretty much the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed i think on the screen right about now you should have some other houses if you want to check those out and um, really do appreciate all the support from you guys it really does help my channel grow um and hopefully i give you something back in return by giving you pretty cool different styled um, tutorials hopefully they're quite original I haven't seen anybody build this well I better not have because it came from my imagination so uh, be pretty miffed if that happened but yeah there you go you've now got a cool awesome house I don't think anybody in Minecraft is gonna have a house like this so um, like thank you lucky stars I guess I don't know catch you later guys almost addicted signing out check out my other videos and if you do want um, a tutorial on that house just behind me and um, you don't have to build it in pink remember that and um, so yeah comment down below something right peace bye